So you are making a FPS game, but when you play the game, it feels very static. That's because a real weapon wouldn't just move with you, it will have some delay. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to make this awesome weapon sway effect in Unity and make your game feel more alive. Hey guys, it's me, Apurbo. Welcome back to my channel and let's get back to the video. So what I have here is a pretty basic Unity scene with just a FPS controller that I created in another video. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you do or already have a FPS controller imported in your scene. If I play the game, as you can see, I can look around with the mouse and move around. So it's a pretty basic FPS controller. It has a character controller and a script to move the controller. Under the player, we have a cylinder for the graphics, a camera and a ground check object. Again, this will all make sense if you watch the FPS controller video. For this tutorial, what we added to our camera is empty game object called weapon holder and under that we added our weapons. For now, I only have one. Make sure your camera's clipping plane is set to a lower number because by default it is set to 0.3 which clips the weapon. In my case 0.1 is fine. Now you might be wondering what assets I'm using. I'm using the low poly weapons volume 1 from the asset store. There are a lot of ways that you can make a weapon sway. If you go to YouTube and search how to make weapon sway in Unity, you will see there are a lot of tutorials but in this video i'm gonna show you the most basic way of creating weapon sway this is not the best way to make weapon sway but it's pretty good if you are prototyping and need something up and running then it will be great now let's start making it so the first thing that i'm gonna do is to create a script and call it weapon sway and attach it to our weapon holder now let's open the script so the way we're going to make it is by first getting the mouse axis and then converting it into a quaternion and applying it to our gun this all might sound a bit confusing at first but it will get more clear as we code everything so the first thing that we need is the mouse axis so let's type input dot get axis draw open and close parenthesis and in parenthesis type mouse x currently we do not have any way of using this axis in our code we are just getting the axis so let's create a float variable called mouse x and set that equal to this i'm also going to create a float called mouse y and set that equal to import dot get axis draw open and close parenthesis and in parenthesis type mouse y to get the y axis now we can use both of these axes in our code right now we don't have any way of controlling our sway amount so let's go up here and create a new public float sway amount and multiply both of these with this variable so that we can control how much our weapon sways when we move in a certain axis now i'm going to use quaternion dot angle axis to calculate our rotation if we take a look at angle axis documentation as you can see that angle axis takes a float angle and a vector 3 axis so this will be perfect for our use case hey guys if you're enjoying the video make sure to press the red subscribe wait youtube updated that huh make sure to press the black or white subscribe button in order to watch more content like this so let's type quaternion dot angle axis open and close parenthesis and in parenthesis let's type first the mouse y and then a comma and then vector 3 dot right now you might be wondering why i am using the y axis of our mouse and the vector 3 dot right which is the x axis so if we go back to unity and rotate our weapon holder in the x axis as you can see it rotates or it moves up and down this is exactly what we want we want to move our weapon up and down when we move our mouse in the y axis that's why we need to rotate our weapon in the x axis i know this might sound a bit confusing at first but this is just how rotation works now let's go back to visual studio and type quaternion dot angle axis open and close parenthesis and in parenthesis type mouse x this time and put a comma then vector 3 dot up so 
when we rotate our mouse in the x axis we want to rotate our weapon holder in the y axis to move right or left just like before we have the quaternion but we don't have any reference to use them in our code so let's create a new quaternion called rotation x and set that equal to this and a rotation y and set that equal to this now let's apply both of the quaternions for that let's type transform dot local rotation so our local rotation is equal to now what i'm going to use is a function called quaternion dot slurp so let's type quaternion dot slurp and open and close parenthesis if we take a look at the slurp documentation as you can see it takes two quaternions and a float value to interpolate interpret between them so you might be thinking that we can put rotation x and rotation y in here and put some float value here and it will work but this is not the right way of doing it so what I'm going to do is create a new quaternion called target rotation and set that equal to our rotation x multiplied with rotation y. So it's going to be the multiplied value of both of the quaternions. Now let's type transform dot local rotation and then put our target rotation so it's going to interpolate interpret between our uh, local rotation and our target rotation and we need to add the interpolation value so let's go up here and create a public float called smooth time so that we can control it in the inspector and put our smooth time in here and multiply that with time dot delta time to make it frame rate independent now if we go back to unity and put some value here let's say 4 for the sway amount and 10 for the smooth time and play the game as you can see our weapon sway is correctly applied in my case you might be seeing some frame jitterings that is because if you're following me for a long time you might know that i don't have a high-end pc that's why it's a bit hard for me to run unity and a code editor and record at the same time this is why you are seeing the frame jitterings but in your case this will not happen you will have a smooth fps controller with weapon sway applied so there you go now that you know how to create a weapon sway you might be wondering how to create the fps controller in order to add the weapon sway so go and check this video out to find out how you can create your first fps controller in unity